I'm back! That was a little flamboyant extra. I read theater kids coming out, so beware. Hey guys, welcome back. So I know it's been a while. That's kind of my fault, you know, with everything going on in the world. And I've just kind of been in a rut and I've been just at home, like reevaluating what I want to do, thinking about stuff, you know, because when you're in quarantine, what can you do but overthink about your life? That's what all freaks of nature do. So I've just been doing that and I've kind of felt bad that I haven't been on camera. So I'm like, you know what? Let's get back into it. Let's play with some makeup. Let's feel like myself, feel beautiful again with the makeup and get that going. So today we're just kind of going to play around. I wanted to do a little natural, like kind of a pinky eye makeup look. I know it's like natural. It's like, oh God, the theater kid's doing natural makeup. Who would have thought? I'm gonna do my best, I'm gonna try. But I did get some makeup a while back in like February before everything in the world kind of went to shite. So we're gonna play with some of those products. I'm very excited, you know, this highlighter I'm gonna play with is like one of my new favorite highlighters if you're a rose gold freak like myself. Thank you guys for coming back. All right, let's get this going. I've already primed my face ahead of time. So we're just gonna dive right into it. So if you wanna just catch up and play with some makeup, then keep on watching. Before the world kind of went bananas, Estee Lauder was doing their free gift and I got their new eyeshadow palette. One of the new, they came out with two. The other one was like a different bronze goddess, like brown, golden, blue one. I wanted the other one because I didn't have an eyeshadow palette like this. This is, you can't read it because it's like a light print on here. This is the Sumptuous Nudes palette from Estee Lauder. And this one is a six pan eyeshadow palette. And this one's gonna have some matte and some satin in it. There's not really like a metallic one. So this one is like, you could say it's the most metallic. The rest are gonna be like a satin or a matte. Now I have played around with these. I've swatched them because I did wanna just kind of get a feel for it because I'm a sucker for playing with new products. Now, I do have to address that personally for me, each time I play with it, there is a bit of fallout and kick up back in the pan. So if you're not afraid of that, that's fine. But for what you're about to spend on a palette, which I believe off the top of my head, this palette ranges between 52 to 54 dollars. I could be wrong. I'll put that in the link down below. If that's not a problem and it's your money, go ahead. Just letting you know, it doesn't really bother me. I really wanted it. But this is like a great little eyeshadow palette for like an everyday kind of makeup look for just kind of like a little natural. So I'm actually gonna start, I wanna do, start off with a little brown. So I am going with this number five shade. It doesn't have a name, it's just number five satin. And I'm gonna go in with the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. This is the JH31 brush. It's just gonna do a nice little fluffer brush. And I'm just gonna carefully tap into that. I don't want too much, but I'm just going to do my crease out here. And I'm trying to go as light as possible because I don't want an intense, a truly intense eye look when it comes to shadows. I'm gonna leave that more for the eyeliner and the lip look. But right now I'm just going back and forth gently with that shadow. I'm just doing like little windshield wiper motions. And because I want it to be a little bit more feline, I'm gonna take it out to the outer corner and just bring it out a little which I'm gonna have to exaggerate it on my eyes because I have hooded eyes. So I'm just going to bring that out there and I'm also just gonna do that outer corner there. Oh no, she has her hair parted behind her ears. It's getting serious. I'm gonna go in with the number four satin. I'm gonna take the same brush because I'm just gonna do the same thing but with a lighter color in there. So I'm just gonna tap gently into that brown shade. And I'm just gonna do the same thing over the areas. Just kind of go in and do that little exaggerated eye because I do want this to be like a not like a truly like warm eye look. I just kind of want to be like a cool everyday kind of brown. If that makes sense. It's been a while, you know, it's just kind of been weird getting back into playing with makeup when we're so used to being at home, trying to be couch potatoes. Like, like it's a good kind of weird. Like you haven't seen a friend for so long, like a high school friend. It's like, you see them again, it's like, well, like it's good to see you, but it's, it's, it's weird. Like this is kind of weird for me getting back into makeup and putting a face on. It's like, it's weird, but it's a good weird. Is there such a thing as a good weird? We're gonna find out. What I am gonna do, I'm gonna go in with that first satin shade. So that like light creamy white, it's gonna have like a little sheen to it. And I'm gonna put that on the inner corner of my eye. I do want the inner to pop out. I moved in a little closer so you guys can see, so you can see all my terrifying flaws and all that. As in quarantine, just been great on the skin. It's kind of what happens when you just let yourself go. 
just kidding so again i am gonna go in with that first satin shade which is a nice little like pearlesque sheen and i'm gonna use my tarte sugar rush brush which this one does not have a name but it's part of their sugar rush like b line or something i'm just gonna tap into this and i'm gonna put it on the inner corner because i really want the inner corner to be bright and just to kind of pop a little in there this is like a nice like little white pearly this would be great for like your crease or just to kind of do an inner highlight but i really want the inside to be just like wide awake you can see it's already making a difference it's adding a little life to the eyes i'm just gonna pat this in there We did get an email that Macy's will be opening up soon, so hopefully I will get to go back to work, but I think we're all going to be wondering what's going to happen to retail after all this is happening. I'm just still going to make my videos and try to make you guys laugh and have fun. You know, this is fun for me, and I'm just trying to live my best life and just do what I love, which is making videos, entertaining people, playing with makeup. Who doesn't want to do that? So I am going to go back in with that first Morphe brush and I'm just going to take the lighter brown one again and I'm just going to re-emphasize because sometimes that little, like, the white shade can kind of overtake it. I am just dipping into that and redoing the brown near the end because I don't want it to be all washed out because we worked really hard to get that brown going in there. Because I'm feeling the little extra shimmer, I am gonna go in with the number two satin, which is that nice little like pinky peachy color. And I'm just gonna take this as an It Cosmetics. I think it's E7OW, I've used this so much I've worn it off it. But it's a nice little like flat brush. So I'm just gonna tap into that pink shade in there. And I'm just doing it over the center just because I want a little pop of pink in there since the highlighter is gonna bring the pink, let me tell you. It's gonna bring the pink and I'm not usually a fan of pink coloring. And I'm just tapping this over the center. I don't want like to be pink all over the place. I'm just doing a light amount and just tapping it right on that center lid there. Cause I want the white to show and I still want the brown to show. And I am gonna go back in with that white shadow and I am just going to clean up the crease area here cause it's just a little too harsh for this look right now. And I'm going in with the Farrah 35E brush, which is a nice little like fluffer brush. So just to kind of clean up those edges, I don't want it to be so harsh. The point of this is not to be harsh, even though we're not exactly going out anywhere, no, no fun dates, no girls night out, no birthday celebrations. I had so many plans for the spring and then the virus hit. So what are you gonna do about that? So the shadow is done at the top. It's a very nice little natural kind of look with a little pink. So I am going to go curl my lashes with my Morphe eyelash curler. And I'm gonna go in, today I'm using the Burt's Bees. This is the All A Flutter mascara brush, which this brush kind of has like a little smaller center and then it curves out on both ends. I ignore my blister there. So this one's just gonna help give like a nice little natural length to the lashes. So I'm gonna curl those. I'm gonna get the mascara going for you. One of the benefits about doing your eyes first is that when you accidentally poke your eye with the mascara, you can just easily wipe off that mascara on the bottom. This is so you don't have to wipe off the foundation or concealer that's sitting underneath there so it doesn't mess up. So that's a good thing about doing eyes first. You get a clean canvas, so if you mess up, it's easier to fix. I'm gonna do kind of like a winged eye look today because I just want the eyes to be a little bit more dramatic in the sense of the liner. So I am going in with the Stila Smudge Pot in black. So I never thought I'd be a smudge pot person, but honestly, it's so much easier to work for me personally than with like a liquid pencil. I am gonna go in with the It Cosmetics. This is the winged liner brush. This is from their Heavenly Lux collection. So I do buy these brushes in the sets. I am gonna just get this going in there. So it's a nice little angled brush and I'm just gonna dip that in there and tap off the excess. And I'm just gonna use the mirror from the palette. You do get a big mirror, which thankfully that's great for traveling. So I'm just gonna take the winged end here. So let me show you that brush there. So you can see this is a nice little slant so that'll help easier with the wing. Now a winged eye look is harder for people like myself with the hooded eyes. We have to exaggerate it a little bit more. So I'm going to stamp get my base started and stamp on my lash line first. I stamp and then draw. That's just personally what I do for me, it's easier. I just wanna go as close to the lash line as possible. When it comes to the actual wing, I'm going to lift my eye here a little bit because I'm just gonna stamp that on there and get it as much on there as possible.
once you get it where you need to, you're just gonna exaggerate it back. And this might take a couple tries, that's fine, but you just wanna make sure you stamp it evenly. So as you can see, I have a little flick and I have it thicker on the end and then it gets thinner as we get to the inner corner. Just takes your time, it takes practice. Trust me, I'm still working on my winged eyeliner. It's not my best makeup trick, you know, but with each practice, I get a little bit better. So I am just gonna quickly do the other eye and we're just gonna keep moving on with the look. I like how I say that I'm getting better with my winged eye and then this one takes like a good five minutes just to try to fix up. You know, I just jinxed myself there. So I am gonna clean up the wings so they match. So I am just gonna go in with that palette again. This one is the Masked Pencil Eyeliner Brush. So I'm just gonna go in with the clean white shade and just kind of touch that up in there. And this is a good thing that we didn't do the foundation first because then you would have just messed up your whole eye look. And you don't have to go in with a white shadow. I just personally like to do this just to kind of help fix it because white's like a little eraser in there. Just make sure you don't use too much here. I know it looks like I have a lot on here, but I'm just cleaning up that shape. The eyeliner is finished, so I don't want it to be like an intense smoky eye. So I am just gonna go in with that fourth satin shade here, which is that light warm brown that we did before. I grabbed an IT Cosmetics pencil brush and I'm just gonna do it underneath the eye because I don't want it to be an intense smoky eye look because I want the focus to be on the eyeliner and the lips when we get to it. And because I want to brighten the eye look a little bit more, I am going in with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in white. If I can open it. This is just going to help open up the eyes and I'm just taking it on the waterline. I'm not doing it on the upper waterline since I have the liquid eye going on in there. So I just want to look wide awake so people can't see that I've been binge watching anime all night. Now that the eyes are done, I have primed the face ahead of time. So I am just gonna go in with my Clinique Fit Foundation and this one is in number two, Fair. And this one has SPF 40, which priorities. So this one's gonna help even out the face and give a nice matte look. So we're just going to put the all over the place. And if you cover up the winged eyeliner, that's okay. You have the base to fix it later. So we're just gonna go in and fix that, if you mess it up. But I am just gonna take my IT Cosmetics foundation brush and I am just going to buff that out because my skin could use a little coverage. And again, if you cover the wing, no big deal. You can go back in and fix it right now. I'm just trying to cover all my flaws because my skin decided, oh, you were like perfect for a week after everything that happened. All right, let's just mess it up. Oh, but I do miss this foundation. It feels so good and mattifying on the skin. All right, we're gonna conceal all the touch-ups, brighten up the eyes, because everything, again, the emphasis is on the eyes. So I'm gonna go in with my Burt's Bees Concealer Corrector, which I think this might actually be too light for me, because I think I've actually gotten paler since quarantine started. Who would have thought? I was already pale before, now I'm extra pale. So this one is in the shade Fair, which I think is like the lightest or the second lightest. It's going to touch up and brighten some areas that need correcting and concealing. And we're just gonna feel beautiful again because I miss feeling pretty. And I'm just gonna use my Farrah brush. This is the 20FF straight brush, which is just yeah a nice little flat brush. So I use this one for concealer touch-ups. Let's get under that eye there because we wanna brighten. And I'm just very carefully with the concealer going in around the wing because I don't wanna mess up the wing after working a good while on that that would really suck like that would really just suck suck balls oh my god it's a hot mess i'm a hot mess filming i'm sorry guys if this isn't like my most exciting video i'm just this is kind of weird getting back into it like it's a good weird i'm just taking any leftover concealer and dabbing it where i need to because i don't want too much product because i find because i'm so expressive if i have too much face product on it sits in my lines and all over my my smile lines and my forehead lines just because apparently I'm too good at showing emotions. So who would have thought a theater kid's too good at showing emotions? What the heck? I'm going to set the face with my Clinique Almost Powder in the shade Fair. So I'm taking, this is an IT Cosmetics, this is the Airbrush Foundation Brush in KER51W. So I'm just gonna dab into that and I'm first gonna do under the eyes to keep that set in place. 
and then just tapping it everywhere else I need to. I know I'm not really going anywhere, so I don't want like a whole big fancy face going on. Now that I've set the face, I'm gonna quickly bronze, even though I'm pale and want a little warmth. So I'm going in with the Lancome Star Bronzer Natural Glow in shade two Solaire. This one, I'm just gonna take my It Cosmetics brush. This is the airbrush powder, and I'm just doing a little warm bronzy. I'm not doing like a full harsh contour. I just want a little warmth on my face. We're gonna watch out with the hair because platinum blonde hair I found easily can get like bronzing powder stuck in the roots and then it takes forever to clean up. I'm definitely under that jaw line because I feel like if when I gain weight, it's more noticeable in my face, especially on my jaw. So I feel like if I can just make this cut a bitch, then I'll feel super confident about myself. Hair's getting everywhere. All right, moving on, I'm gonna go in with my Clinique Black Honey Pop Blush, which is a nice little plummy blush. I know we did like a nice little soft eye look, so I want the blush to be a little deeper. And I'm going in with my Farrah Cheeky N218 brush. I'm just putting it on the apples of the cheeks. Cause I found a lot of the blushes I had before were either a little too like peachy orange or too peachy pink. And this one I want a little bit plummier because the lip color is gonna be a little bit fun. Like I love this lip color. I was so thankful when Carmen found it at the store for me. Now we're going to shine bright like a diamond. Yeah, shine bright like a diamond. The most exciting part of my purchase that I got at Estee Lauder was this bronze goddess highlighter because this bronzer, I mean, excuse me, bronzer, no, this highlighter, it is like a rose gold fantasy. Like I love rose gold. It's my favorite like jewelry metal. Like rose gold is so pretty, even on fair skin. And this highlighter, I like gasped when I saw it. And I don't usually gasp for like makeup, but I was like, oh, Carmen, add this to my order with the eyeshadow. I have to have it. It's so beautiful. It feels like butter. And it smells like sunscreen, which normally I wouldn't be a huge fan of, but because I haven't played with makeup in so long, it's so familiar now. But like this highlighter is so beautiful like just a nice little peachy pink color. And I'm just gonna put this all over my face and I don't care because I'm gonna look like a rose gold wet dream. Like it, it's just beautiful. I'm gonna rub this all over my face with my Sugar Rush highlighting brush from the B collection. We'll put the hair back since it keeps falling. And we're just gonna, oh, you see that? These cheeks can cut a bitch. You see that? Oh my God, move hair. Oh my god, like I, I might be buying this highlighter for the rest of my life. It's so beautiful. Oh, and that Cupid's bow makes my lips look so much more kissable. And I'm adding it on the chin, which normally for oily skin, I wouldn't do that for myself, but I don't care. Love this color. I'm putting it all over my face. It's just beautiful. Look at this, guys. And I'm not usually a fan. I bought their bronze goddess like highlighter before and it was pretty, it was a little too golden for me, but this, oh my God. And this is like 45 bucks, which granted it's a little up there for like highlighting makeup products, especially if you're not into highlighting, if you don't consider highlighting an essential makeup product, it's a splurge, but it's just so pretty. My cheek looks so chiseled and just like, die, like melted diamonds are on here. We are almost at the finish line, so I know it, the palette is called Sumptuous Nudes. I don't really have a nude lipstick from Estee Lauder. So I am gonna go in with their liquid lip. This is the Pure Color Envy Liquid Matte in the shade Orchid Flare. So this is a nice little like purple kind of color. Cause I'm like, mm, let's do something different. I've done a lot of red lips cause I have plenty of reds from Estee Lauder. And I have like a reddish brown. I'm feeling the purple. So I'm gonna go in with the Double wear stay in place liquid pencil in wine. And we're gonna get that little plummy fantasy lip dream going. All right, let's get this liquid lip going. It feels so good. It feels so good. I miss lips. I miss lip products. They feel so good. Do you guys see, this is like a beautiful liquid lip. Estee Lauder does create some great non-drying like lip liners and lip liquid lipsticks. This is a beautiful color. I miss wearing this color. Yeah, and I mean, I did kind of get in that eagerly, but like when it fully dries, 
I'll do a little kiss test later. Let's lock this masterpiece with my Kat Von D lock it in setting for, oh, okay, wow, that was a lot. All right, whoops. I got so eager to wrap up the look, I almost forgot my brows. So I'm gonna quickly fill in my brows off camera and then we're gonna do a little final thoughts and do a little chit chat. All right guys, this is the final look, the finished masterpiece if I do say so myself. It was just really nice to kind of just sit down, get back, play with makeup, getting into that familiar mindset, you know, starting to feel normal again with everything going on. And I really needed this. And I wish I had gotten out of my rut sooner so I could have made more videos for you during quarantine. I'm gonna do better about that. Please don't lose faith in me. Now, this eyeshadow palette did come out a while ago, but if you haven't gotten it yet, if you're just looking for a nude pinky eyeshadow palette, it's fine, but the kickback is starting to kind of bother me. It is a little bit annoying, not gonna lie, but out of the two, definitely buying the highlighter. The highlighter is beautiful, like it is amazing. I love it. I just, I, it's my favorite. Enough said. You're taking my $45 plus tax. Done. Every gift I need it. I need this modern mercury color. Loving this eye look. So the eye is just a nice little everyday look. You don't have to make it intense. This is just, I wanted to focus on the liner and the lip. Since I knew the lip was going to be intense, I was like, let's emphasize the liner. If you really want to make this look a bit more dramatic, you can add false lashes. I'm not really into the false lashes look that's like extra work for me. I would say this was fun. It was just nice to get back into this. So I do have some more videos planned in the future. I have bought some makeup. I might restart my Ipsy subscription so I can play with all kinds of makeup going on in there. Thank you guys for watching. You know, please like, share, and subscribe. Stay safe out there. And I'll get back to you with another video as soon as possible. Wait, let me... Ha! See? Dry! Why am I always kissing my hand? But like, it's a kiss test. That would be great for making out. Mm, let me call someone. So thank you guys for watching. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So bye guys.